everybody, and welcome back to a very special Wheel of Time video. For those of you who have been following the channel over the past year, you know that I've been droning on and on about a Wheel of Time fan website that we've been creating behind the scenes. Today, I finally get to release that to the public, and I could not be more excited. So in today's video, I'll be unveiling the website to you all, walking you through all of the content that you're going to find on the site, some of the content that is to come at a later date, and then I'll be unveiling a contest at the end of the video with some really cool prizes. So let me quickly hit the spoiler warning for the video. This video will carry a spoiler rating of green, meaning there are going to be no spoilers of any kind. You can watch this video no matter where you're at in the series. So before showing you guys the site, let me first go back and explain why we made it in the first place and what the website's actually for. The genesis of the greatblight.com goes back to the second coming of Wheel of Time content creators that started when the television show was announced. For those of you who have been around the Wheel of Time for a long time, there were tons of fan websites, theory boards, games, all kinds of stuff that was created around the Wheel of Time while the books were still being written. But once the series was completed, the number of fan sites and the level of fan discussion sort of dissipated over time. But with the announcement of the new TV show, there are tons of new creators out there. There are also so many more mediums for content now, and there are so many creators making outstanding stuff that most people just don't get to see. So the idea is simple. Let's create a website that can collect the Wheel of Time content being created around the fandom and put it in one place for fans to find new creators and be updated when content is put out. Additionally, if we invest in SEO and promoting the website, the audience and the support for these creators is going to grow as well. Truly the idea of a rising tide raising all ships. Additionally, we thought if we could remake the Wheel of Time wiki into something that was better for not spoiling people and would be easier to read, would be prettier to look at, and it had more information, that would benefit the community as well. So that was kind of the beginning of the website. So let's take a look at where we're at now. Now as I pull this up, the first thing that you're going to notice is that beta is written across the top in all red. This is the beta version of the website, meaning you're going to see changes over time and things added as we go on. The wiki, which we'll talk about in a minute, is extremely bare bones right now, and it's going to have a ton of articles added over the next few months. But this is the main page of the website that you're looking at, and you'll see various articles from different content creators posted here. There are a number of creators that are going to be labeled as featured on the website, and they're going to have access to post their content directly to the main page of the website. So if you're a member, you'll be able to follow along with the things they post. When you click on any one of these articles, you'll pull up the full post and you can comment on the article or like their post as well. Additionally, on the main page, you'll see that more than just videos and podcasts are going to be there from creators. We're going to have folks that will write regular blogs about the Wheel of Time, post news articles and links about the upcoming television show. You as readers will also have the chance to contribute content to be posted here, but we'll talk more about that here in a moment. Now, real quick, before we move on to more of the site, the first thing that you're going to want to do when you get here is click the box in the upper right corner to log in and create an account. Create your user account and upload an avatar for yourself if you want. This is going to be important for the contest that I'm going to mention later, but it'll also help you in getting updates on new content from all the various creators. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the main reasons for the website's existence is to promote content creators and how you can support them. So in the top menu, you can see the second entry is content creators. And when you hover over it, you can browse content creators across various mediums. We are always adding new creators to the site. And there's also a place to apply to have your content on the website and get your own page if you are a content creator. If I click on the YouTube creators, for instance, you're going to see featured YouTubers at the top, as well as many other amazing YouTube creators down below. All you have to do is click one of their pictures to get more information on their content and how you can support them. For example, if I click Unraveling the Pattern, you'll see an example of a creator page in action. Here you can see a short clip of Unraveling the Pattern's work, as well as a description of what you can expect to find from their content. Additionally, all of their social links are just a click away, and there is a section on, on how you can support your favorite creator financially, and a section giving you their history with the Wheel of Time. If we take a look at the podcasters page, for instance here, the Black Tower podcast, You'll see the same information, but also a link to their podcast, which is hosted on the site as well. You'll be able to follow along and listen to all of their podcasts directly from the link, as well as go back and binge all of their old podcasts as well. Now, if you're a Wheel of Time content creator, you can apply to have a page of your own by following the link in the drop-down menu under Creators, 
where it says Content Creator Applications. There is an application there that will get reviewed, and if you're approved, you'll have your very own page to promote on the website. Creators don't just have to be YouTubers and podcasters, though. If you run a Wheel of Time-based game, trivia site, you make Wheel of Time art or music, we want you on the website. Please apply if you think you fit the role of a creator. Now let's take a moment and talk about the library section, and specifically the wiki to start. The wiki is very much in a beta iteration, really more of an early alpha, actually, uh, because there are currently very few articles live on the website. Now this is going to change dramatically over the next few months as more and more articles will be added. On this page, as well as in the top search bar of the website in general, you'll be able to search the articles in the wiki. Below the search bar, a few popular articles are linked right now, which you can click. Now let's go ahead and click an article and let's just start with, let's say, Meringue. You can see on the menu on the right of what's linked on that page and what parts of the article actually contain spoilers. You can see a video about Moraine is linked that kind of goes through, actually it's one of my videos about Moraine. As we scroll down the page though, you're gonna see where the spoilers start. The cool part is that the pages are broken down into sections based on the book that you're on. So if you're only through three books, for instance, you can read the parts of the article up until that point and then stop if you wish, if you don't wanna see more spoilers. As I mentioned, this is very much a work in progress and it's at a very early stage right now. You're gonna find many missing articles and many articles that are somewhat incomplete. We are actively looking for more volunteers to help write wiki articles. So if you are interested, you can apply to be a contributor to the website by hovering over the About Us section of the menu and applying to be a contributor. Moving back to the library section, we've also got all of the new maps that I've been creating. There are going to be many more uploaded, but all of the ones that are currently available are available for everybody to download for free. If you click here on this box, all of the maps are gonna download at once in a zip file. Now they are fairly large files, guys. Some of these are, are meant to be massive. So keep in mind, these are big, big map files. Now these maps are free for anyone to use and content creators can feel free to use them in whatever manner they see fit. Put them in a video, put them in a blog, doesn't matter. They are totally here for public use. As I complete more maps, I will add them here for you to see. The maps will also be present in wiki articles associated with the places that they represent uh, when those articles are actually completed. Lastly, to round out the library section for now, we will have some links to some other popular Wheel of Time websites. Make sure to follow all these sites as they're all pretty awesome too. Now, I've covered shopwheeloftime.com in an earlier video, so I'll spend a little less time on it here but this link at the top of the screen will take you to the Wheel of Time store that we've put together to accompany the website. You can get all kinds of Wheel of Time related stuff and support thegreatblight.com in the process. The store will be updated as more merchandise becomes available. And while I know some of this stuff you can get cheaper elsewhere, the idea of shopping here is that if you wanna support the website and you wanna support the channel and get some Wheel of Time stuff at the same time, this is the place to go. It's been a huge success since we launched it about two months ago, and I wanna thank everybody who has been purchasing stuff there. One thing to come here is hopefully at some point we'll be able to incorporate uh, some of the merch stores from other creators where they can get paid for the stuff you buy on that site. We're still working on that, but that is to come. Lastly, I wanna thank some people that you can find here under the About Us tab. First of all, under the About Us tab, you see who we are. And there you're gonna find the current moderators and admins for the website, as well as contributors to the wiki, the people that have been writing the articles. I wanna thank all of them for their support and all of them for their contributions and obviously everything ongoing. These people have been working tirelessly for free uh, behind the scenes. And so big, big shout out, big thank you to all of you. Um, again, here is also a place at the bottom, a button you can click if you would like to work on the wiki, you can apply right there. Also under the About Us section, you can find both the recognition of those who funded the original GoFundMe to support the creation of the website, as well as those that regularly support thegreatblight.com on Patreon. This site would not be possible without your support, and we are looking to grow that support even more so that we can bring on some part-time employees to help improve and maintain the website. We have a lot of big plans, but a lot of them are gonna take some funding and hiring some people on. Under the Support the Shadow tab, you can actually see the various ways that you can financially support thegreatblight.com if you so choose. Obviously, Patreon is the most consistent and direct way to support the website, and you're gonna get acknowledged on the website for your support, as well as get special badges that will denote you as a supporter on the site. Additionally, you can support thegreatblight.com via our sponsorships with NordVPN and audible.com, as well as shopping at shopwheeloftime.com, as we mentioned earlier. So I hope all of you are super excited to explore thegreatblight.com. 
I am certainly excited about some of the things that are actually gonna come in the near future. So let me hit on a few of those. First of all, look for a massive expansion of the wiki. A majority of our effort will be put into fleshing out the articles of the wiki over the next few months. Please volunteer to help if you're interested in writing those articles. Second, we will have a fully updated page for all things Wheel of Time TV show that shows the entire cast, clips of their work, the crew working behind the show, and short bios for everybody. This should be a comprehensive place to find information on the Amazon TV show, and it's going to be updated as we get more and more information. Third, more maps. Yeah, we're going to have more maps that are going to be completed, and eventually when we have enough of the smaller maps done, we'll be creating an interactive world map where you can click on like a, a city or a country and it'll zoom in, and then you can click on cities and zoom in. So it'll give you maps of various locations around the world. Should be pretty cool. Fourth, look for a page that will be created solely with the mindset of attracting new readers to the series. We'll be putting together a web page that you can send to friends or family that you want to read the series and kind of walk them through the pros and cons of reading The Wheel of Time, whether it's right for them, resources and community for their read through and information that will hopefully set them up to have a strong desire to read the books and support them as they do it. That should be fun. Hopefully, again, the idea of all this is to bring new people into to the readership or new people into the books. Lastly, a feature that I really can't wait for will be a complete read through series and individual pages for each chapter of all of the books of the series. So we'll be creating individual chapter recaps designed for new readers to recap what they just read with visuals and maps included, as well as a second read through designed for those rereading the series to catch up on all the small foreshadowing and small tidbits of information that are pretty easy to miss in each chapter. These videos will be accompanied by a page for each section that will give further analysis and information. We'd love to have this up and running before the show premieres to help the new readers uh, as they get into the series. I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it should be really cool to watch and kind of binge a whole book that way. I hope you all are as excited for the future of the Wheel of Time as I am. Last thing, you can see at the top of the page that this truly is a beta and we are looking for feedback. There is a button in the header that allows you to give feedback on the site, point out errors, and all of this is super helpful to us. There are going to be errors, there are going to be things that are screwed up, and we want to make it perfect, so as you see things, please point them out. Thank you to everybody that's been supportive of this. Thank you to everybody that's interested in it. Uh, we're really excited, and the more traffic that we can drive to the site, the better it's going to be for all of the creators. So now it's time for the contest. For the next two weeks, I'm going to have two promotions going on to celebrate the launch of the site. Well, really, one is a contest and one is a promotion. So let's hit the contest first. All you have to do to enter this contest is get signed up for thegreatblight.com. Super simple. Just head to www.thegreatblight.com and click sign up and make an account. You are automatically entered then. That's all you got to do. And so what's the prize? Well, I'm going to have two winners, and each of them is going to get a $25 gift card to shopwheeloftime.com so you can get yourself something you want. Pretty cool. And really easy. Just go sign up for it. Simple. Second, let's hit on the promotion. For anyone that signs up or upgrades to the Black Aja level of support on my Patreon, that's the $10 level, you're going to get $10 off your next purchase at shopwheeloftime.com. So support $10, get $10 off. It's a pretty good deal, and you really help support the website and the channel. Just click the link in the description of the video to check out Patreon if you want to see all of the cool reward tiers there and get signed up to be a member of the Black Aja or higher. Thanks again to everybody for your support, and I hope you enjoy thegreatblight.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to be updated when I release new Wheel of Time content. Also, leave a comment on the video and let me know what you think of thegreatblight.com. I can't wait to see what you all think. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do Mistress up above, slipping on a robe of blue She prances down the staircase, a fancy us a free Crying, Tinker, oh dear Tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?